Please welcome hypnotherapist and the author of I Had the Strangest Dream, the Dreamer's Dictionary for the 21st Century, Kelly Sullivan Walden. What do stars like Zac Efron dream about? Well, we're going to have our celebrity dream analyst tell you. So most of what I do is help people finish their dream. My next guest is on a mission to awaken the world to the power of dreams. Kelly Sullivan Walden is a dream expert, certified clinical hypnotherapist, and best-selling author of nine books, including Chicken Soup for the Soul, Dreams, and Premonitions. Dream analyzer and best-selling author Kelly Sullivan Walden is here to decode our dirty dreams. Here to help explain <laughs> what these Zs are telling us, please welcome dream expert and author of It's All in Your Dreams, Kelly Sullivan Walden. Thank you. excited to be with you all. I, I love the so show. Thank I love you. Yeah. It. It's a dream come true. Tell me, what, how significant are our dreams? They are so significant. They're probably our greatest ally in life, and they're probably the thing that we most take for granted, most people in the Western world. In some other cultures, people would, if you woke up without remembering your dreams, they'd say, go back to bed. The moment you know you're starting to wake up in the morning, remember me saying this to you, don't move a muscle. Okay. Until you replay three times the dream that you were just having, then you can get up and then <laughs> write it down. You have to write it down immediately because within three to five minutes, the dream is gone. I get up to the cliff and then I stop. I don't go over. Okay. So to me, if it was my dream, I would, I would think that a cliff is about living on the edge. And you are someone who is living on the edge. And sometimes living on the edge can be a little scary because you never know what's going to happen next. So instead of calling it a nightmare, it would be a venting dream. And a venting dream means that your subconscious mind is helping you to get rid of the fears. Well, I, was... I believe every remembered dream requires some form of action. It's, it's acknowledging that your dream has value and you're acknowledging it in your waking life. I was free. I was naked. It was wonderful. You sound like it was wonderful. Oh, she, yeah, it was you, just I, you need to get back on that lawnmower I naked. I mean, for real. Hello. She was riding the lawnmower bareback. Oh, my God. You're, in a way, you're like the poster child of how we should all treat our sexual dreams. You're, mm. like, fully reveling in it. You're not ashamed. You're not guilt-ridden. It's almost like you're still riding that lawnmower. I am. And you're taking all of us with I'm you. Top, sorry. It's really amazing. I was mm. clothesless, standing behind this, <laughs> this big drape, like, hiding. What does, what does that mean? Okay, so if you dream that you're out in public and you're not a, a nudist, and that's not well, something that you normally do, you know, I don't think that is, no. then it tends, it's about exposure and about being comfortable being seen. I mean, you were, oh. that, this literally, you went to the Golden Globes, you were nominated. Congratulations oh, again, by the way. Mm -hmm. And it's, a, I mean, the, the spotlight is on you. So even though you're an actress and you're used to being in public mm -hmm. and all of that, there may be some aspect of you that you don't necessarily want exposed. So whenever we're we're underclothed and we're out in public in a dream it tends to be like what what is it that we don't want people to know about us wow in that moment? dark secrets <gasps> so so water in a dream typically symbolizes emotions and if we're if it's overwhelming then it tends to be about overwhelming emotions that we that we prefer not to experience and those emotions can run the gamut from hope to pain all the way from falling in love to being like oh no I don't want to cry all the loud noises around us the voice Voices of the doctors, the teachers, the social media, CNN to tell us who we are, what to do. And so many of us have just simply, it's like a muscle. Mm -hmm. If you don't use it, you lose it. But the good news is, is that we all have premonitions. We all have dreams. We all have access to that sixth sense. And we can get it back with some simple steps. And then I remember even in the dream I was saying, but I am hanging out with Oprah Winfrey. So what does that mean? <laughs> this is a great Great dream. So this is this opens up. Anytime you dream about celebrities, okay. it's it's usually about your because everyone in the dream is you. So this is about you hanging out with your inner Oprah. And this also so it's the fact that she's a celebrity means that there's a light being shined on this dream. It's about your success formula, whatever qualities you attribute to Oprah being philanthropic, being successful. That's your aspect of yourself coming into deep connection. And you're the Wizard of Oz, so that's kind of an interesting thing. <laughs> Sorry. This is long before I was the Wizard of Oz. But here's an interesting thing. Our dreams are offering a solution about how to get through this challenging situation. In your dream, your dad accompanies you. And so in the dream, every character is you. So, so your dream is telling you to connect with the older, wiser aspect of yourself in order to access the wisdom that you need to do well. They all come in service of our health and our healing. They're all helping us to make our lives better, our bodies better, if we pay attention to them.